Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Don Joe. This is their part number 1469. This is a replacement rubber stop for their kick down door holders. It's not unusual to buy rubber stops. They do wear out is the bottom line. Um, that door gets open, the stop gets kicked down and the door is still moving. Uh, and when the door comes to stop, sometimes depending on where the stop is installed, the stop arm will actually kick over a little bit and you'll notice when you go to replace this material that it will be um, worn quite on a heavy angle like this. And that tells me that it's installed incorrectly is, where you'll, is when you'll kind of see that. Um, but it's a piece of rubber and you're generally holding open a door under hydraulic pressure so the door wants to close. The arm's trying to keep it open and the rubber is uh, making contact with something with great friction like concrete. So not unusual to have to replace these. Will this fit in your door holder? No idea. But let me take some dimensional properties. Maybe that will help. So the portion that will go into the arm, its diameter is 0.625. So that's 5 eighths, 0.625. The height of it, 0 0.325, 0 0.325, so basically 5 sixteenths, okay? Not that it really matters, but these three concentric circles that are here, its outside diameter is about 1.06, so about 1 and a 16th. The thickness of that as well is about 0.478, so about 15 30 seconds. It will include a single uh, machine screw. I imagine that this is 832, would be my guess. It will go down into that hole. You'll very likely need to pierce it through there. Uh, just keep pushing and there it goes. You'll be able to tighten that in. That's how those go together. Not a lot to say about these uh, is the bottom line. Maintenance uh, sort of situation. Let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are indeed looking at. 1469. This is used in the 1465 and 1467 series holders, and uh, they're gray, sold as each. There's a template here. Um, they actually have a drawing of this item. I would not have guessed that pretty much what we just took in terms of dimensions. There's also a product catalog. Let's remember 1465 and 1467. So we'll do a uh, control F for, or find function on our keyboard. And here we go, door holders. 1465s, 1467s. Um, I don't know what about the design of these other models that makes it, oh, well, it's not obvious, but the other units will take the threaded in style, the 1468. Um, the 65 and the 67 are going to be considered um, heavier duty, it would be a way that I might put that. Uh, the 65 is uh, solid brass as is the 67, and that's where that's coming from. They'll be heavier because they're made of brass, and they will afford you architectural finishes. Polished brass, polished, um, polished, uh, what I was about to say was polished brass, and um, satin chrome, most certainly. They do list the finishes. Polished brass, antique, uh, pardon me, oil rub bronze, polished chrome, and satin chrome is what they do on those. On the five, the difference is one is a four inch version, which is about the axle down to the tip. The 67 is a five inch version, and that's just if you have a greater undercut to contend with. When you have a door in the closed position, you might have three quarter inch below the bottom of the door to the floor, but when it's at the 90 degree or even greater position, you might have a couple three inches that you're going to have to get over and down uh, because of the, the concrete may pitch away from the from the threshold, which is how it ought to be. 
four screw hole models is what those are. That's also a hallmark of something a little heavier duty. The, um, the 64, they say, is solid brass. Uh, and the 55 is made of aluminum. The 66, that's going to be cast iron. Yeah. Sixty-four, four-inch solid brass. Sixty-five, four-inch solid brass. A little different design um, on the on the plate, and this is probably important if you are going to be matching existing holes. So you might, before you decide on a four-inch sixty-four or sixty-five, you might take a look at not only how the tip is attached, is it screwed or threaded in, but what those hole locations are. This 64 is a very common footprint for this. If I was going to guess, this is going to match Rockwood and this is going to match Ives. That would be my guess. Now this catalog will also allow us to see a number of other door stops, holders, and bumpers from Don Joe. As we scroll through, you'll see some wall stops. Um, one inch, the I-400, that's neat. It's very petite. Common, the common culprits in the world of inexpensive concave and convex stops there. The 1410 is a larger diameter. It's 3 and 7 eighths. If you've got some damage in drywall that you want to cover, that might work. The 1401 is self-adhesive. Very, very inexpensive. More modern style. Dome style stops. Short and tall. And then you've got a tall one with a short lip. It'll do either very small undercuts or standard undercuts. Risers, if you need to build it up for whatever reason to look like this, maybe you have a carpet condition. Heavy duty units, these are definitely more heavy duty because they spread out the mounting points. I've seen these sorts of stops get crushed and pushed over. It's inappropriate to use these heavier ones, these ones that have these spread out mounting points. Um, much more robust models as well, with and without holders, floor and baseboard mount style. If someone comes in and says they want the heavy-duty stop, they might be meaning the 1418, a big, thick piece of steel with a big rubber-coated stop on there. These are heavy-duty as well. This can get sunk down into um, concrete if you really need to go heavy-duty. Gooseneck style, if you use your imagination, you can see why we call it that, with and without holders. Roller bumpers, you'll see these applications in hotel rooms where you've got two doors swinging into each other. So you'll see that pretty common. Entry door, well, maybe the entry door from the hallway and then a bathroom door. Uh, where do you use a curved and where do you use a straight? Straight is when you're going to have, when you will have one of each hand of door. Curved is where you will have both doors of the same swing. This diagram does a good job of just showing you what it is. These are definitely poured in, uh, put into concrete with mortar mix poured around them, extremely heavy duty. Our door holders, other door holders, service mount. This 1458's been around for decades. Buildings built in the mid 20th century, you'll see these all over the place. These door holders as well are neat. Um, they're very robust heavy duty door holders, obviously not for use on fire doors. Four different variants and it has everything to do with the clearance what you're dealing with in terms of clearance. So select the model appropriately based on the clearance dimension. We stock those. This is a, uh, another style of holder with a plunger, a uh, spring-loaded type of plunger in it, automatic in the sense of you push and push back and it pops off. A different style of that holder. You'll see these occasionally. Heavy-duty wall stops, very inexpensive residential stops spring style for residential applications, then hinge type. The 1502 is extremely common. You'll see that all over the place. Uh, silencers for steel frames, silencers for wood frames, and silencers for cabinets. Residential angle style stops. This is an applied stop. This is when you have hardware, when you have a door and frame that the frame does not have a stop. You would use this when you have a cased opening frame and center hung pivots with an edge pole, but you still need a way to keep the door from swinging in the wrong direction, even though the hardware would permit it to double act. 
and that's where this catalog ends. Speaking of catalogs, there's a link below this video as seen here to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Donjo products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website and a link to their full line catalog, along with that full line catalog broken down into subsections. If you know the name Donjo at all, you probably do for their latch protectors and their wraparound plates, but they make bolts and latches and pivots and hinges and door stops, as you now know, strike plates, other items. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you've not hit subscribe yet, we would very much appreciate if you did, and hopefully you're enjoying this video. Now, let's get back to it. Now, the name Don Joe is synonymous with trim and auxiliary hardware. I would definitely consider a trip through their catalog, um, albeit that a not insignificant task because they have a lot of, uh, they have a substantial diversity of products and lots of variety in every product group. Um, they're going to make things that other people don't. They do a great job. Well, they do a great job um, almost always. And they will offer a tremendous offering of extended lip strike plates. So if you ever bump into that, they have those. This is what a bag of 50 looks like when it comes from the manufacturer. This is how we'll inventory it. They're priced and sold per piece. Feel free to buy as many as you want. We encourage that type of behavior. You'll get a stop and a machine screw. Any questions on the 1469 uh, replacement rubber stop or any other Don Joe product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.